Welcome to Tech and Trek, exploring the past, powered by the future. What's something people don't know about ancient Greece's wildlife encounters? Ancient Greece was a hub of knowledge and exploration. The Greeks were fascinated by the natural world. They sought to understand the diversity of life around them. Their explorations led them to distant lands and encounters with unfamiliar creatures. These encounters left a lasting impact on their understanding of wildlife. The Greeks were keen observers of nature. They documented their observations in detail. These records provide valuable insights into the wildlife of the ancient world. Animals played a significant role in Greek mythology and culture. They were often seen as symbols of power, wisdom, and beauty. The Greeks believed that understanding nature was key to understanding the world. Their observations of wildlife influenced their philosophical and scientific ideas. They recognized the interconnectedness of all living things. This perspective shaped their approach to studying the natural world. From the majestic lions of the Nemean plains to the elusive creatures of distant lands, the Greeks encountered a wide array of wildlife. Their explorations broadened their understanding of the animal kingdom. They learned about different species, their habitats, and their behaviors. Hanno the Navigator was a Carthaginian explorer who lived in the 5th century BC. He is best known for his epic voyage along the west coast of Africa. His expedition was documented in a Periplus, a detailed account of his journey. Hanno's voyage was a remarkable feat of seamanship and exploration. He sailed beyond the known world, encountering new lands and peoples. His Periplus is a valuable historical document that provides insights into ancient navigation and exploration. It also contains descriptions of the wildlife he encountered, including what some believe to be gorillas. Hanno's expedition ventured south along the African coast. He described encountering various tribes, rivers, and landscapes. His descriptions of the wildlife are particularly intriguing, as they offer glimpses into the fauna of ancient Africa. Among the animals described in Hanno's Periplus are creatures that resemble gorillas. He describes hairy people who were hostile and difficult to capture. These descriptions have led some scholars to believe that Hanno may have encountered gorillas during his voyage. The question of whether Hanno actually encountered gorillas remains a subject of debate among historians and scientists. Some believe that his descriptions match the physical characteristics and behavior of gorillas. Others argue that the accounts are too vague and could refer to other primates. Those who support the gorilla theory point to Hanno's descriptions of the creature's size, hairiness, and aggressive nature. They also note that gorillas are native to the region where Hanno's expedition took place. However, skeptics argue that Hanno's descriptions could also apply to chimpanzees or baboons. Interpreting ancient texts is a complex task. Language and cultural contexts can influence the interpretation of historical accounts. Without definitive evidence, it is difficult to say with certainty whether Hanno encountered gorillas. Despite the uncertainty, the possibility that Hanno encountered gorillas is intriguing. It suggests that these animals were known to the ancient world long before modern science classified them. This raises questions about the extent of ancient knowledge about the natural world. Interpreting ancient accounts of wildlife encounters requires careful consideration of various factors. The language used in these accounts may differ from modern scientific terminology. Cultural beliefs and biases can also influence the way animals are described. Ancient texts often lack the precise language and detailed observations that characterize modern scientific writing. Descriptions may be metaphorical or symbolic, making it difficult to determine the exact species being referred to. Moreover, Ancient writers often attributed human-like qualities to animals, blurring the lines between objective observation and mythological interpretation. These anthropomorphic descriptions can make it challenging to separate fact from fiction. Despite these challenges, ancient accounts provide valuable insights into the historical distribution and behavior of wildlife. They offer glimpses into a world where humans had a different relationship with the natural world. Hanno's voyage had a significant impact on ancient knowledge of the world. His Periplus expanded the geographical understanding of the time. It introduced new lands and peoples to the ancient world. His descriptions of the African coast contributed to the growing body of knowledge about the continent. His accounts of the wildlife he encountered sparked curiosity and further exploration. 
Hano's voyage demonstrated the possibilities of seafaring and exploration. It inspired future explorers to venture beyond the known world. His journey paved the way for greater understanding of the world's geography and biodiversity. The Periplus served as a valuable resource for geographers and historians. It provided insights into the navigation techniques and shipbuilding capabilities of the ancient Carthaginians. It also offered a glimpse into the cultures and societies that existed along the African coast. Modern scholars continue to debate the significance of Hano's possible guerrilla encounters. Some view it as evidence of the interconnectedness of ancient knowledge. Others see it as a reminder of the challenges of interpreting historical accounts. The debate highlights the importance of critical analysis when studying ancient texts. It underscores the need to consider multiple perspectives and sources of evidence. Whether or not Hanno actually encountered guerrillas, his voyage serves as a testament to the human spirit of exploration. It reminds us of the enduring fascination with the natural world. The possibility that ancient explorers encountered guerrillas adds a layer of mystery to our understanding of these animals. It suggests that our knowledge of gorillas may have deeper roots than previously thought. The explorations of ancient Greeks like Hanno laid the groundwork for the development of modern science. Their observations of the natural world stimulated curiosity and a desire to understand the workings of nature. The Greeks' emphasis on observation and documentation formed the basis of scientific inquiry. Their methods of categorizing and describing plants and animals paved the way for the development of taxonomy. While ancient Greek understanding of nature was often intertwined with mythology and philosophy, their observations provided a foundation for future scientific discoveries. Their explorations expanded the known world and introduced new species to the collective knowledge. The legacy of ancient Greek exploration is evident in the scientific names of many species. The use of Greek words and names in scientific classification reflects the enduring influence of these early naturalists. The ancient Greeks' insatiable curiosity about the world left a lasting legacy on human understanding. Their spirit of exploration and discovery continues to inspire scientists and explorers today. The Greeks' emphasis on knowledge and reason shaped the development of Western civilization. Their contributions to philosophy, mathematics, and science laid the foundation for modern intellectual pursuits. Their explorations not only expanded geographical knowledge, but also broadened the understanding of the diversity of life on Earth. Their encounters with new cultures and civilizations fostered a greater awareness of the interconnectedness of humanity. The legacy of ancient Greek curiosity is a testament to the power of human inquiry. It reminds us that the pursuit of knowledge is an essential part of what makes us human. The study of ancient explorations offers a unique opportunity to bridge the gap between ancient wisdom and modern discoveries. By examining the observations and interpretations of past civilizations, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the evolution of human understanding of the natural world. Ancient accounts of wildlife encounters provide a historical perspective on the distribution and behavior of animals. They offer insights into the ways in which humans have interacted with nature throughout history. By comparing ancient descriptions with modern scientific knowledge, we can gain a better understanding of how our knowledge of the natural world has progressed. We can also identify areas where ancient observations continue to inform modern research. The integration of ancient wisdom and modern discoveries enriches our understanding of the natural world. It reminds us that the pursuit of knowledge is a continuous journey, building upon the insights of previous generations. The explorations of ancient civilizations, such as those of Hanno the Navigator, have left an enduring influence on our understanding of the natural world. Their accounts of wildlife encounters, while often challenging to interpret, offer valuable insights into the historical distribution and behavior of animals. These ancient explorations stimulated curiosity and a desire to understand the workings of nature, laying the groundwork for the development of modern science. Their emphasis on observation and documentation formed the basis of scientific inquiry. The legacy of ancient Greek exploration is evident in the scientific names of many species and the enduring influence of their intellectual contributions. Their spirit of discovery continues to inspire scientists and explorers today. By bridging the gap between ancient wisdom and modern discoveries, 
we can gain a deeper appreciation for the evolution of human understanding of the natural world. The study of ancient explorations reminds us that the pursuit of knowledge is a continuous journey, building upon the insights of previous generations. Thank you for watching Tech and Trek. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.